Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about um, a, um, reassigning variables with values of different data types, right? So remember we talked about um, the fact that we can create a variable, let's say um, full name, well, let's use a number. We can create a variable of, let's, let's call it age, and give it an, initi an initial value of 27. And we can at the same time change the value of age to something like, let's say, 45, right? So over here, well, first of all, let's print, let's have a line here. Let's print out the value of age over here. And then after that, let's print out the value of age once we change the value of age to 45. So print this. Oops. Um, unexpected indent. I think I didn't indent it right. Let's see. Indentation error. All right, so let's see where I didn't indent properly. All right, so yeah, that's what I did here. We'll talk more about this um, in future videos about indenting, indenting, and if you're not consistent, if you're not consistent with indentation. So don't worry too much about it. All right, so now it's working. So over here, age was 27. It printed the value of age, and then age, the value of age was changed to 45, and it printed the value of age at 45. So what happened was age was 27 over here. Now age is twenty. Uh, age is forty-five. This value twenty-seven still exists, right? But then it, it's not referenced by any variable. It's not attached to any. It's it's not attached by the age variable. It's just hanging. Age has has a new value of now of now forty-five. Twenty-seven has been left behind. And remember, we talked about the fact that values that are not assigned to variables or values that are not uh, um, referenced by a variable, okay, v a variable name or something like that, are are, are kind of you know gotten rid of through gar what a, a method called garbage collection in memory, right? Right, and because this has a value now of okay, this has the current value of age is forty-five, and um, this doesn't have a, 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 a variable referencing it. This won't get uh, removed through garbage collection, but this value will be removed through garbage collection. All right, now you can reassign variables with different the um, data types. Also, it doesn't have to be integers. Right, so we can over here, we can change it from, it used to be an int, let's change it to a float. I'm going to change it to 5.6, and let's run the same program. Initially it was 27 an int, so it printed 27, and then age was changed to 5.6, and it printed a float. We can do that. Remember, a variable is just a name that refers to piece of information it could be it, it could be um, that piece of information could have a it could be of data type int float string it could be of different data types it's just a name that refers to a piece of information in memory it doesn't have to be necessarily it doesn't have to refer necessarily to one type of data but then it can refer to any type of data okay so we can we can see that that's possible we can also change this as, at this point over here let's just let's leave it as a float at, at this point over here we can change a um, age to uh, the string right the string let's say 27 27 this way now although uh, let, let, let me let me type the number so it's going to look a bit it's going to look weird I just want to type in a number just so you see that this is really a number as a string but not a number as a, as a numeric literal it's a number as a string but let's just go with 27 all right so age 27 over here now let's print the value of age <laughs> all right print this and we can see 27 so over here age was 27 now age has been reassigned a new value 5.6 this 27 value is hanging it doesn't it's not referenced by the, the variable age anymore, so it will be it will be gotten rid of through garbage collection. At this point, age is five point six. At this point, age has been changed to twenty to the string eight, twenty seven, which means this five point six is no longer referenced by age. Age does not does not refer to five point six anymore. It refers to twenty seven because remember our code is read from top to bottom, right? And so these two values, twenty seven and five point six, will be gotten rid of through garbage collection. And at this point over here, age is twenty seven, so it's a string. It prints out age. This wouldn't be gotten rid of through garbage collection because age is now referring to 27. It, it's ref it's referenced by a variable at this point. And at this point, these two values will be gotten rid of through garbage collection because they are not referenced by the variable age. Age is referenced in 27. And so we can use the Python shell to even test it out. We can 
we can forget about this remember the Python shell it's like on its own um, so first of all let's the, the Python shell kind of remembers when you declare variables and you know um, as, as you're talking to it it's like having a conversation it's there with, with you in that conversation so I can do something similar let's get rid of this right get, get rid of this when I run it I'm running nothing pretty, pretty much alright so let's go to the Python shell I'm going to declare age to be um, 27 hit enter nothing happened right because all I've told the computer to do is create a space in your memory call that space age and store the value 27 in there if I ask the computer what is or what type of, va of value is the content of the variable age what, what, what tell me t I'm asking it to tell me the type remember we talked about the type function tell me the type of data that is stored in age when I hit enter, now it tells me it's an int, right? Forget about this name. Remember, we talked about this. Forget about this name. Now it's, it's telling me it's an int. So it kind of remembers that um, age is 27, right? Let's change the value of age to a float, 5.6. Right, hit enter. Nothing really happens because all I'm telling the computer is change the value of age to 5.6 now. It was able to do that, so that means this 27 is no longer referenced by the variable age. Age is now re referring to, at this point, age is now referring to 5.6, and at this point, 27 is not referenced by age, so it's going to be gotten rid of through garbage collection. We've talked about that. If I use type, now when I hit enter, nothing happened, right? So don't worry too much about that if you do that. Now when I hit enter to, to tell the, the program to tell me the type of data age is, when I hit enter, it says it's a float, meaning age used to store an int, now it's storing a float. So so this is possible. It doesn't necessarily have to store a value of one data type. It can store uh, values of different data types. So you can create a variable and reassign it, okay? You can reassign it a value of a different data type. So, so that's the point of this video, just for you to be aware of that. Because in your programs, you're going to do that. You're going to reassign variables with different data types. It's possible you're going to do something like that. So just so you know that it's just so you know it's possible and be aware of it. Um, um, that, that's why we're going through this. All right. So now let's just change one last time, like we did. Age is now going to be equal to a string. Uh, Twenty-seven. Hit enter. Okay. I'm telling you to change the value from five point six to twenty-seven. The string twenty-seven. Remember, right? We talked about this type being str of, of this this data being of type str the str data type which really stands for a string right but it's really called str right age 2027 so that means 5.6 is no longer referenced by the, var the variable name age 27 is no longer referenced by the variable name age at this point in the program so these two will be gotten rid of through garbage collection and age is now referring to 27 so it wouldn't be gotten rid of it's still being used it's still being stored in memory and it'll be used it can be used in the program so now when I hit enter again nothing happened when I I hit enter, nothing happened because there was there was no command right so when I hit when I basically type in the type function again <laughs> type in the type function <laughs> All right. so when I type in the type function again and I'm passing the value of age I mean when I, when I tell you to tell me the type of data age is now when I hit enter it's telling me that age is, is now a string so age change from an int to a float into a string so just so you're aware that you can change reassign values um, or variables with not only the same data type of um, of the value that used to be um, in that variable but then you can reassign variables with different data types so just so you're aware of that Okay, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do my best to answer them, as always. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.